Welcome to the podcast. TikTok has rapidly ascended to the forefront of social media platforms, transforming from a niche app for viral dance challenges to a powerful marketing tool for businesses. While you may have discounted TikTok in the past as a potential tactic for your business, it may be time to reconsider. Let's begin the podcast. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the podcast. I'm Janice Kleins, Marketing Manager for AOE, and today I have on the podcast Alec Eisenson, Marketing Assistant for AOE. Alec recently wrote a blog called The Impact of TikTok on Businesses. This blog stood out to me, and I thought it would make a great podcast because it's a platform that most of us subscribe to but aren't sure how to use it for our organizations. Alec is here to help us understand TikTok's business potential. Welcome, Alec. Thank you, Janice. So let's dive in. Um, can you explain to our audience how TikTok has impacted modern businesses? Yes. Yeah, so there's kind of a few parts to it. Um, TikTok has implemented their own shop feature, which essentially makes it they were the first kind of of the large social media platforms. I don't really count Facebook because Marketplace is its own thing. Um, but TikTok, there's TikTok shop and then the way that you can kind of promote your business. TikTok shop essentially allows for businesses to put their product directly up for sale on TikTok and you can purchase through it. So essentially TikTok isn't acting as the middleman. It's just a way for them to promote products and businesses can basically just share a percentage of the revenue with TikTok in order for TikTok to promote their products in a kind of way that maybe helps the businesses. Um, and the other impact of modern businesses as well is that TikTok allows for businesses to kind of promote between, you know, 30 seconds to 10 minute long video, sometimes up to 30 minutes, allowing for anybody to express themselves. It's they're trying to become a similar platform to YouTube, except I think that it is a little bit more casual. So businesses are able to talk about what they're doing or products or services they have in more of a casual type of platform compared to let's say Facebook or LinkedIn. So it's a lot easier and it's a lot more personable, whereas people can seem to just pick up their phone and talk about something. So if you have like the CEO of a company or just anybody who's a part of the company, they can explain things in a less professional manner. And I think that it is more personable to the person who's viewing it. Um, and also along with TikTok shop as well, I forgot to bring this up. TikTok sometimes pitches in to do sales. Um, so some products can run for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, sometimes 60% off on the platform. And TikTok will basically pay the promoter, the person who's selling the product, that remaining share um, as a way to get people to use TikTok as a shopping platform as they look to grow and expand into different business ventures. Okay. So what are some key advantages that TikTok offers to businesses compared to other social media platforms? So with TikTok, it's more, it's like I brought up earlier, it's more casual. Um, you don't really, with Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter, it's often very professional. And with TikTok, it's more casual. You can just pick up your phone. You can talk about things. You can still post your professional content, but it's allowing for it to be less professional in a way. Um, and I think it's more relaxed and I think that it creates more of a personable experience a lot of times where if you are working on a project or specifically like with concrete and construction, if you're working on a product, you can make content that either is more funny and less professional. And I think it allows for people to be more creative with what they're doing because they don't have to worry about being as professional all the time. Whereas with TikTok being a younger audience and less business serious, I would say at times, I think it creates and opens doors for different types of audiences to grow what you're doing. Gotcha. So how can businesses effectively get started on TikTok? Essentially just start posting. Um, I would try to make different kinds of content. By all means, post the same content that you would you know, Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, but also try to make different, more, I'd say, interactive type of content where you can post stuff and 
just have it be more so the audience is more engaged with it where you can talk about different projects you're doing why you you know use materials you use and just make it more interactive so that way the audience is more engaged with it as TikTok as a platform itself is way more casual compared to Facebook you know I, I don't want to say YouTube but you know Twitter and LinkedIn simply just start posting the content and then from there you can get feedback on the platform and also just kind of figure out different ways of how to promote it. Is there a type of content that performs better than others? It depends on the type of business and what you're doing because the algorithm will push you in a certain direction based on the type of content you're promoting, the type of content you're engaging with. So you will get some people who are not maybe as interested in your content who will see it um but they will still see it so i would recommend personally trying different types of styles whether it's professional more casual um even it, it could be slideshows it could be videos it could be anything personal just trying okay. different types of content well that's good advice trying something until you see what works best for your audience i guess yeah, so, and I would still I would still even recommend making the other kind of content as well. Even if it's not as successful, I would make all different kinds of content regardless. Oh, okay. Good idea. So what are some common mistakes businesses make when they first join TikTok? They treat it too seriously. Um, TikTok is not as serious of a platform and it's way more I'd I'd say engageable, where it's more casual. And I know I, I've said this a couple of times now. A lot of times what people will do is there's, for example, a few home developers and home builders that I follow. Um, and there's a few custom home builders. And what they'll do is they'll just pick up the phone or have somebody film them and they'll break down why they design everything they do. And it's very engaging because it's not just like a slideshow. It's not just a video that's pre-made with audio over it or a voice you know, or a voiceover. It's the guy walking through the house explaining why he does what he does. And you can do different kinds of things with this, even in like the concrete and construction industry where you're explaining what you do. Like if you're in a in a if you're in a factory that makes concrete, or if you are building something, or if you're building a bridge, or if you're making changes to something, you can explain why you do what it do. You know, for example, if you're on a construction site and you see giant machines that little little boys have lugs, you know, since they were three or four years old, mm -hmm. you can explain what they actually do and then break it down because most people probably don't know. And even though that doesn't necessarily have a lot to do with the business, you can break it down and people will like that kind of content and they'll be more inclined and more interested because they like that content to watch all of the other stuff you want to do to promote your business in a better way. Okay. So how important or why is it important for businesses to stay up to date with the trends on TikTok? I'd say it just gives them the ability to continuously adapt. I think if you use social media as a platform or just any social media and you try to just stay stagnant or not adapt to what people are looking for or what the potential audience might be wanting, you're not going to continue to grow on social media. Okay. Do you have any examples of businesses that have successfully leveraged TikTok for their marketing? Yes, um, I'll relate it more so to, I guess, like construction kind of industry. A lot of there's a lot of people that like I brought up earlier that I follow that are custom home builders. And there's a few of them that will just walk through the house and explain why they built what they want. And they kind of present a problem where they'll explain, you know, the client wanted this. So here's how we integrated this into the into the design. And then you go from there and it's breaks down how you go through the process of building it, the, you know, running the, you know, talking with the engineer, breaking it down. How do you make this work? And it's very interesting because you have a lot of people be who are, you know, who are essentially saying, OK, if I had the money to build a house, I would I would go to you to do it. And it's very engaging and very intriguing because he promotes a problem that somebody had and how he fixed it in an innovative way and not just in a, you know, okay, here's a simple way to do it. Gotcha. So is there a way to measure success on TikTok? You know, the marketing campaigns, is there a way to, for you to understand, like, is it, if something is, I mean, other than having followers, is there a way to measure yeah, so your success? 
So TikTok will give you view counts on videos. It'll let you know how many views it is bringing in. Um, but I don't necessarily think that that is in like indirectly a way to measure how successful something is. Um, a lot of it is based on the algorithm. So you can have a very successful video that does not get tens of thousands or millions of views, but your engagement on it can be. So, you know, for every 10 views you get, if you're getting one like, that's a fairly successful video. So you can kind of look at it from that perspective and not just from a, oh, this video went viral kind of success. I think if you look at it like that, it'll probably show it's more of a successful marketing campaign. Okay. Um, so what role does influencer marketing play on TikTok and how can businesses utilize it? So I think influencer marketing on TikTok is a little different compared to other social media platforms as TikTok is more casual in the way that people make their content. Half of it is probably people picking up their phone and talking instead of it being picture or video based. So I think it's a little bit more personable and I think it allows for it to seem more organic in some senses, not always, but I think it's more engaging for the average person to be able to feel like they are, you know, more in touch with the person who's promoting something. So in your blog, you, you mentioned, um, like how you can measure through various metrics, like engagement rate, follower growth, conversion rate. Can you elaborate a little bit on that for our audience? So they understand, um, what each one means. Yeah, so essentially, as you get more followers, you get access to different things on the platform. And with viewer count, you get more access to things as well. So if you make engaging content, you grow your followers, you grow your views. Um, there's certain thresholds and requirements to get to be a part of certain programs um, for different things on TikTok, for example. Like you can be a part of the beta program, which is will pay you for content that's over a minute long because they wanted to compete with YouTube. So if you meet a threshold of a certain amount of followers and you post content that's over a minute long and collectively every month you have over 100,000 views, you will be paid for the content that you make as well. Um, and they pay it on an RPM base. So everybody's is a little bit different, but it's just basically retention and retention the viewership and that's you know per dollar how much they'll pay you often per thousand to two thousand views or so so it's kind of a way to incentivize people to make long form kind of content so they can compete with youtube okay well thank you alec for taking the time to sit down with me and discuss TikTok and how an organization can utilize this platform for success for more information on this blog visit our website at aoeteam.com Thanks, Alec, for joining us today. Yeah, thank you, Janice. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope this session provides value, and we hope you will join us for our next podcast. 